What's going on, people? Welcome to the Rabbanu Afim. It is time for evolution. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, becoming open-minded or becoming more open-minded, and, and some of the uh, and how how a lack of open-mindedness will stun your growth, your your creative uh, capacity, the way you wish to expand your your mind, your knowledge, etc. Uh, and it will really uh, um, hinder your creativity. In terms of creativity, in terms of uh, problem solving, critical thinking, uh, without being open minded and, and seeing all of the possibilities that are laid out, uh, you hinder uh, potential opportunities for you to gain uh, access to uh, certain knowledge or for you to gain uh, a certain uh, adv life changing advice or or something. You just hinder. You just hinder that 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 pathway. And so, close-mindedness can uh, end your your uh, your opportunities and possibilities. It's it's equal to uh, to low self-esteem, in which uh, th they're both uh, limitations in the thought patterns due to uh, a comfortability in reliving the same actions day by day. So, to be close is similar to uh, locking something. So, to be close is like uh, you know locking the mind, and when the mind is locked, nothing else can enter. So the mind is locked into a fixed view, and so oftentimes during you know debates or during this conversations in general, uh, people are often listening to respond as opposed to listen to understand, you know because by default uh, people aren't open to their views being being wrong, you know. So the mind will search for a, a confirmation bias as opposed to to listening to the alternative viewpoints. So a closed mind will trap the individual's ability to think in new uh, innovations, uh, alternatives, and new ideas, etc. So be open to everything, research everything to, to aliens or quote-unquote conspiracy theories that, you know, some of them do have a lot of evidence backing them up. But due to, you know, political and, and social engineering and all, and all that, uh, people are ashamed into looking into that. And they are uh, called uh, nutcases. But um, but open discussion is important to find, you know, new discoveries. And I'm sure the person who created the airplane was made fun of. You know, I'm sure back then they said, you know, flying crafts that that, that that's that's foolish. You know, they they probably thought flying crafts was foolish, and now we got flying crafts. Um, the back then when people thought the the Earth was flat, and then someone there was a rebel with a new idea saying no the earth is not flat the earth is round so because evolution is a part of change and change is evolution uh it's best to when you have the idea to not become attached to the idea become open to change you know become open to new 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 avenues new new possibilities when you're in the state of foreverness or stuck or you're attached to the idea you are by default uh, fixated you know on the idea so for example people who are prone to being emotionally attached to ideas will become angry or mock the its alternative view in laughter uh, name calling or on a subconscious level will look into different views and shy away from it at the same time they, they will display a, a, a micro body expressions that may look like their walls are being put up when they are in the face of adversity so because of uh, t television or family or friends that say that the, the certain the idea is bad, they, they, due to social pressure, they will, you know, kind of shy away from that idea. And so Edward Bernays is like the father of uh, propaganda or, or marketing or advertising or something around those lines. But he's like a, a major a figure, uh, Edward Bernays. So Edward Bernays, he... He convinced like thousands of women to, to start smoking, and we and when he how he was convincing these thousands of women to start smoking is that he put smoking in a positive light. Like smoking was made you independent. Smoking made you strong. You know they they appealed to the uh, consumers' uh, emotions. You know they try to get capture your emotion. The keyword capture your emotion. When they capture your emotion, your your emotion is. Is trapped in a cage in a sense so you know this is how they they really uh this is what most uh most uh advertisements or 
or propaganda or you know anything that that's how it that's how they capture you they, they capture you through through your emotions a good story can capture someone through their through their uh, emotions you know so anything that can uh, capture your emotion you know be wary you know ha have have some uh, be, be mindful about where your emotions are being captured towards you know and also be open to alternative viewpoints as well so one time someone told me an outlandish idea but i saw him as an intelligent person so i asked if he had any uh, documentaries or top speakers in his field or in that field that he was talking about that he could uh, recommend me to so instead of like countering the argument you know that i could have potentially uh, been wrong in I, I, I speak to understand uh, the, the viewpoint and then after uh, after fully examining the alternative viewpoint and hearing the top documentaries professionals that are in that alternative uh, that are in that alternative field or in that you know just a different idea um, it, it, it no longer became like an outlandish idea but after understanding the view that is when I could start to question the view even further questioning them even further spotting things that i disagreed with or find or you know and if i did dis disagree with it i'd probably look for counter information on my own or see if that person can provide any counter information to the things that i you know disagreed with or you know etc but uh yeah to uh you know, oft oftentimes, oftentimes, you know, alternative viewpoints can get uh, corrupted if it's coming from, you know, a third party as opposed to the actual source, you know, because, you know, third party can be funded by uh, malicious, uh, you know, you know, third party people or third party companies can be funded by, uh, you know, people with a biased view or so. So you kind of you want to get it from from the actual source what are what is what is the actual source talking about so you know and which is happening today you know and, and today in our media you know so so anything that promotes you know censoring information because uh society may believe people to be too dumb to think for themselves is an issue because it's an attack on the mind to become closed instead of question author authority so to become a storyteller, whether you're writing a, a music, a music, you know, or or, or a film, um, you know, empathy, understanding of people, and an open mind is required to tell an effective story. You know, nothing is too crazy. You know, no information is useless. So if a person is uh, using their their critical thinking skills and is not and can remove you know emotional attachments to ideas then that's very uh, that's very powerful to the individual and so hatred towards anyone or an idea expressing a uh, alternative view whether it's coming from uh, family friends or political figures newscasters you know it's a sign of you know impulsive reactive becoming reactive and uh, having a closed or locked mind so kind of like if the general masses hate an idea or a person people assume that the idea or a person should be hated on you know instead of doing their own research and looking at counter arguments to that you know uh m many people you know in in our nature where we, we we can say this is social condition or social conditioning or you can say this is you know biological in a, in a biological sense to how how we evolved to become you know social beings or is it could be social conditioning but whatever whatever you you lay you lay on whatever stance uh you know it's it's it's, it's clear that uh people have a uh, a monkey mind the monkey see monkey do when they see other people or then when they see the general masses uh agree to it you know people will believe that it's the correct thing so you know human humans tend to like seek you know external approval from the outside pack you know and, and it's easy to be told what to do and it's hard to be a rebel so i find like that children who are you know rebellious in schools tend to make better leaders than you know order order following children because they have experiences in, in challenge, challenging the status quo you know rebels aren't know appreciate in society because 
rebels are rebels are the one that are actually doing the change Re to become a rebel you are making a change in a society you're you're challenging the, the status quo in a society that lives in a uh and stuck in foreverness or stuck in certain ideas so never be afraid to become wrong and if a person is afraid to become wrong it's a sign of a uh you know emotional attachment to an idea and so even me i'm not perfect you know sometimes i'm wrong you know and when i'm wrong you know it can hurt sometimes you know but as think of it as like it's, it's growing it's growing your character and the only reason why it hurts is because it there is a uh, emotional attachment to the idea so always be open to alternative viewpoints never get attached to it to uh to anything to any to any idea be open to various things and that'll be the video thank you guys for watching feel free to like comment subscribe if you enjoyed this video and peace